4.6 kilos in that time, which I'm extremely ecstatic about. Jade and I'm from The Hungry Vegan. Today I'm going to showcase exactly what I eat in a day as a raw vegan. I've been eating fully raw for 55 days now and I've managed to lose 4.6 kilos in that time, which I'm extremely <laughs> ecstatic about. I'm eating approximately between 2,000 and 2,800 calories per day, but in this particular showcase, I'm I eat 2,592 calories for the day, which is amazing because most times, no matter what way you eat, if you ate that many calories in a day, you probably end up gaining weight. But this is the amazing thing about this high carb, raw vegan life. You can eat so much food, feel satisfied, have plenty of energy and eat a lot not go hungry. I would never promote starvation for anybody because starvation never does any wonders for your body and in the long term you'll never stick to it. This is why I'm making sure I'm losing weight gradually instead of these quick fixes that you lose the weight and then when you start eating again it comes back on. I'm making sure I'm eating substantial amounts of foods and realising and programming my mind to say this is a lifetime commitment this is how you're going to eat, you're planning on eating for life so you can take the time to lose your weight. There's no hurry, it's developing the habits of a raw vegan and I think that's what's most important for you and for me. So I hope you enjoy this show. Okay, so first thing in the morning, I generally have a green juice. Now, I do this irrespective of whether I'm eating raw or not. It's a habit that I've built over the last three to four years, and um, definitely three permanently. And um, something I do every morning. I vary my juices, but this, um, this, this is my main staple. And I've got some cucumber, and this will make two juices. So I've got some cucumber here. Um, two lemons, some ginger. Now you'll see I have a fair bit of ginger here because I like it. Um, if you're new starting off, I would suggest not to have probably any more than that, which is about my thumb because um, it can be very powerful, but I just love it. I mean, I put that much in a smoothie, not just even a juice. I'm a bit crazy when it comes to ginger. Um, and I've got some apples. Um, now I slice them up. I have to slice everything before it goes into my juicer. Now I've got some broccoli stems. Now the only time that I'll have broccoli stems is if I've had some broccoli or something like that the night before and I've got leftover stems. Um, I am lucky though my fruit and veg um, shop, because I spend so much there, they keep um, a heap of stems aside for me and I occasionally can come and pick some up, which is awesome. I've got some cos lettuce. Now that isn't... that. It's leftover lettuce, so that just gets shoved in. Whatever leftover stuff I have from the night before will always go in there, whether it's zucchini, stems or whatever. Don't, or some leftover Brussels sprouts, whatever. Don't overthink it and think, oh my goodness, she had this, I have to have that. No, you don't. Just make sure you're getting the vegetables in. I've um, got a couple of celery stalks there and a huge bunch of spinach i've just got it in the drainer here i always do that because it's easier once i've rinsed everything off just to let it strain so and there we have it that's what i've got in that's what i actually put in my juice So what I've added in here for breakfast is I've got four bananas and four medjool dates and about a litre of water. Having a smoothie this way is a great way to get a lot of fruit into you and you don't have to chew it and eat it, which can sometimes be a little bit difficult. But it's also a great way to get added water into you because I've got an extra litre of water. So here we have my smoothie, which I'm going to put into my jar. 
and this is just so scrumptious I honestly one of my favorite breakfasts didn't all fit and this is an 800 ml but obviously we added a litre of water and here you have it my breakfast smoothie it's absolutely delicious so good Here's today's lunch. So I had about 700 grams of red grapes. You could have had green grapes or whatever grapes it is that you had, but I had 700 grams of grapes and I juiced them. So I've made them into a juice and I've done that because it's a lot easier for me to get the nutrition from the grapes into my body without eating that many. Um, sometimes I struggle with eating that that many grapes but I know how essential it is for me to get substantial nutrition so therefore I um, juice it. Here I have my platter I've made which is absolutely beautiful. Now I've got two lots of figs you'll see here we've got the green figs and they oh, look how juicy they are. Always make sure when you're eating figs that they're nice and ripe. If we're eating them not too ripe, see this one's ripe, but this is a brown one. Um, if they're not ripe, it'll all be furry and itchy on your tongue, which will do no good. Plus, if we're not eating ripe fruit, it's no good for our digestive system, which is essential for us also. So I've got three lots of green figs, three lots of brown figs, and then I've got some beautiful peaches. I had one white peach and two yellow peaches so that will be my lunch i'll have a liter of water after that um, with one juice uh, one juice of one lemon in there and that will cover me for lunch time here's my dinner as you can see there's a fair bit there okay so i've made here a little dip and I've made that with macadamia yogurt, um, probably about four tablespoons of that. And I've mixed in there a teaspoon of onion powder, um, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of a very hot curry powder. I get my curry powders from the Asian grocer. Don't get, um, you know, your basic King's curry in the supermarket some chives, chopped chives, chopped um, dill and some spring onions and I also put in there a little bit of smoked sea salt just to give it that salty flavour and give it that real curried egg sort of flavour. Now I've got here 250 grams of tomatoes and they're just the like plump bigger sized cherry tomatoes. I've got two carrots cut up got one whole cucumber I've got four celery sticks chopped I've also got here a whole bunch now I don't know what this lettuce is called it's beautiful it's like a it's a like a romaine lettuce but I'm not sure if it is you buy it in the Asian grocery it's the only place I know how to get it and I love it it is just so delicious um, before I um, eat this I will have my four bananas I've also got some raspberries and I think I'll have them after dinner and here I've got some sauerkraut which you can make your own sauerkraut I bought mine it's um, just a sauerkraut an apple that I bought um, at my local market so this will be my dinner as you can see it's quite substantial what I'm eating so making sure yet again I'm filling up and I will have another litre of water or coconut water one of the two to wash it all out so I can digest it all so as you can see big big bulk thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video um, you'll probably notice as I pop my macros up that I had 84% carbohydrates on this day, 6% protein and 10% fat. The fact that I didn't reach 10% protein on this day is not an issue. I'm, I had over 40 grams of protein throughout the day which is substantial for a woman of my size so I don't go into panic mode thinking oh my god I'm going to be protein deficient. No. 
I won't be. It's fine. So, and throughout the week, Peter will end up paying Paul and it'll work itself out. So don't panic if you don't reach that exact macros every every day because it's near on impossible. As long as we get pretty much there, that's all we're after. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it the thumbs up. Please share my video if you enjoyed it and share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Subscribe to my channel and join me on any of my other social networks. I'm on Instagram at the hungry underscore vegan and also on Facebook at The Hungry Vegan. You can also join my Raw Fruitarians group on Facebook, which is called Raw Vegan Fruitarians for Life. Bye for now.